Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Aliens and UFOs news video. Well, this is an interesting bit of news. While I'm wrapping up making the Area 51 VIP tour videos, I saw this story pop up recently on USA Today. I don't recall it actually trending on Facebook, which is where I usually see such news related to this, but give it a couple of days, maybe a week, it might start trending there. But otherwise, it definitely made USA Today, which is also one of my favorite websites to look at. And it has to do with one of the best, most recent pictures of a UFO captured as of yet. And it has to do with a gentleman who caught it. And I'll talk about everything associated with the history of the gentleman and then the picture as well. Um, by the way, I've included the link below for USA Today and then also from Inquisitor.com. So if you wanted to read more information beyond this video, then you'll have it ready to view there. So this is the photo that I'm talking about. It's just one photo altogether. That's it. And the reason for it is because apparently this is one twentieth of a f of a second that was captured, uh, whatever this thing was, within the photo itself. So, in other words, one second passed by, and the camera took 20 images. And of those 20 images, this is the best looking one, or is maybe even the only one that showcases what it is. Clearly, it looks like something UFO related like the hallmark of what you and I think of a UFO these past 50 plus years that they have been um, in the mainstream media this is what it looks like it's like something straight almost out of even let's say 1950s like War of the Worlds type stuff where it it's the classic design of a UFO it's it's somewhat small I don't know the size of it uh, based on the the frame right here or how far away the shot is but it looks somewhat small it definitely looks sleek it's slender and then it has either a shiny reflective surface or it's actually creating its own light source that's still up for debate because if it's a shiny surface then it's reflecting everything as far as the sun or other light sources around it and then of course it has the grayish looking design that you and I know of when it comes to the classic UFO look and then here's a zoomed in picture as well you'll get to see an even closer look at it uh, the the resolution obviously is lesser here because it's zoomed in but it gives you more detail now so you can see that it looks like it has a light source either on both the left and the right or maybe just the left or maybe just the right or again it could just be reflecting other light sources as well so this picture is making the rounds on the internet as far as it being uh, some of the best footage yet like a best frame yet of a UFO. You have to go back it seems like almost towards the black and white photographs that you and I know of um, that we've seen of some of the other classic UFO shots when it comes to having uh, clear resolution unmistakably looking like a UFO so this is yet another entry that will probably make it in terms of the hallmark uh, photographs of UFOs. Now how this shot came to be came from this guy. His name is Dr. Richard O'Connor. He is a retired anesthesiologist. Um, he apparently has been purposely taking photographs of the sky for the past couple years, I guess ever since he retired, because he himself has a unique history tied to UFO lore. He's a retired doctor, again an anesthesiologist, but back then um, he was a, his colleague he was friends with was a guy that was by the name of of Dr. Jesse Marcel Jr. And if some of you recognize that last name, Marcel, it has to do with the fact that that doctor, Dr. Jesse Marcel Jr.'s father, who went by the name of Jesse Marcel, more commonly known as Major Jesse Marcel, he was actually involved in the famous Roswell UFO crash. Apparently, he was one of the military personnel that was called forth to the investigation whenever the UFO crashed there, at least, of course, according to speculation. And whenever it crashed, he was brought on forth there along with others, and they reportedly were able to take a look at the wreckage. He, in fact, um, according to the Dr. Marcel Jr., he stated that his father took some of the wreckage home, showed it to his son, 
who was him back then, and then if, up until then, up until now, this guy, uh, Marcel Jr., who was again the colleague of Dr. O'Connor, he communicated and brought uh, the attention forward to him about UFOs and the interest in him. So ever since that relationship, um, I believe Dr. Marcel Jr. now is deceased, but um, ever since that relationship, then Dr. O'Connor has had a lifetime interest as well in UFOs. So cut to the present time, and what he's done is he took two cameras, placed it somewhere, I guess, I don't know if it's in his backyard or somewhere else nearby his home, but these cameras are apparently standing up 30 feet off the ground, pretty high-tech cameras, the way, the way the article described it is, they're two Reconyx Hyperfire PC900 trail cameras pointing straight up towards the ground, and they're programmed to specifically only snap photos if there's a moving object that comes within their sensor range. So they're not going to be shooting photographs all night long, only if something, I don't know how far away it is, but apparently it's a long range, but if something comes within that long range sensor, then it takes pictures and it can shoot up to 20 photos again at one second intervals. And he's been doing this for several years. Apparently he said he took about 200 and 80,000 photos, all of them, uh, if not all, you know, just basic stuff, stuff that happened to be normal things running into the frame, such as birds, squirrels, even the occasional trees in the distance that would come within the shot. But then finally, uh, this was on November 4th, he stated that he captured this, like whenever he, I guess he was reviewing what his daily images were, that's when he came across this, and that of course blew everything else out of the water. He's already sent this off to various analysts, I don't know who these analysts are, I don't know um, like what their credentials are, at least to show proof of their experience, but he's he stated he sent it off to several of them and they have stated most of them that the images at least are real in the sense that the photo is not doctored it doesn't look like it's manipulated this guy Dr. O'Connor says he doesn't even know like how to manipulate photos he's he put that out outright stating that he doesn't have the experience I guess when it comes to Photoshop and other data or digital manipulations um, he said that uh, that proves uh, that in his case that he can't fake these things but then there are other analysts that have already declared it a hundred percent fake he's responded already this Dr. O'Connor by stating that he will be willing to take any lie detector test brought forth to him to again prove that he's stating everything is real there's even one analyst that gave like a very detailed report as to why this thing is real, at least the photograph. Uh, there, I don't know if they're exactly their goal is aiming to see if the UFO itself is real, but at least if the photograph is real. In other words, it's unmanipulated. And this guy, he wrote a very detailed report. He said the colors of the object resemble the surrounding blue sky and clouds, and this will naturally occur with highly reflective silver objects. The fact that it was 120th second frame rules out balloons or other man-made objects. It also indicates the objects decelerated and accelerated and held position for just one frame as there's no elongated motion line that would have occurred if the velocity was constant. So they went into really, really good detail in terms of their analysis. So that's some other uh, reference points as well. So, But otherwise, that is the latest news related to aliens and UFOs. Pretty good picture. I mean, it does make you scratch your head. You can't really... Um, remove this as an obvious fake, at least outright, nor can you um, state that it's real but that it's something else, like it's a regular plane or a helicopter or something along those lines, because it looks again like your classic 100% UFO, the ones that we know of, again, for all those years. So, what do you guys think? If you have any more information, anything else? that you'd like to add, please post those comments below. Unfortunately, that's the only picture. So if, um, uh, if, if, if he produces any more, though, I will be sure to let everyone know as well. So, All right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care.